Hi everybody, my name is Jackie Buisson, Master of Wine. I am here with Michael Pauly, Master of Wine. Hello. We made it. We made we it did. on season two. <laughs> season. You know, I think we have lost our job yet. Yes. <laughs> Phew. Clearly we didn't choose wines that were too dodgy. So C310. Yeah. Kicking off in style, Burgundy, Australia. What New else have Zealand. we got? New Zealand. Yeah. yeah. We've tasted all across the spectrum. Some sparkling wine, some Pinot Noir. Some beautiful Chardonnays, some Cabernet Merlot blends. We've got a bit of everything. And some weird stuff. Some weird stuff. Some very we weird stuff. Like yeah, weird we like stuff. a little bit of weird stuff. Yeah. We've just been tasting for C310. Mm. For C310. Um, and one of the things we're tasting is Burgundy. Yes. I'm not, Burgundia, Michael. Burgundia. <laughs> I'm not allowed to say Burgundy anymore, am I? No. The fine people of the Bourgogne region in France uh, have decided to take back their name, and uh, from now on, Burgundy is Bourgogne. Bourgogne. Okay, I have been corrected. Yes. Bourgogne from now on. So, um, I understand you are now the a, Bur a Bourgogne ambassador. I am. I was just actually last week in the region uh, tasting through the wines and doing a special training to become an official Bourgogne wine ambassador region. I love where I did my first study, so excited to be doing this tasting with you. Great. Well, you are the perfect person then to answer all my questions on Bourgogne. I shall try. So what's the difference? Let's start off with the basics. What's the difference between village, Premier Cru and Grand Cru? Yeah, it seems quite confusing. There's different classifications within the area, and this is essentially to understand where you are in the region. So a regional level of Bourgogne, AOC, white or red, could really be from vineyards anywhere across the greater region, you know, from Chablis all the way down to the Maconnais. Then you get into the uh, village level, and this is really the name of the village around which the vineyards are growing, like gervais Chambertin or Pommard. Then you get into some of the best site sites on the slopes, which are labeled Premier Cru to, you know, insinuate an elevated status. And then there are the top, top, top Grand Cru, and the Grand Cru are the best vineyard sites uh, that really have really special properties, and this is where you get into the the cellaring wines are a little more pricey. <laughs> I was going to say, sometimes, <laughs> yes. sometimes very pricey yes. indeed. Um, great. Well, thank you for that. Um, next question, Cote de Beaune versus Cote de Nuit. Confusing. Discuss. Yes. So this is one area of Bourgogne, the Cote d'Or. And essentially what the Cote d'Or is, it's one sort of long limestone based um, escarpment running from just south of Dijon uh, to south of Beaune within the Bourgogne region. Uh, and it's split into two, Côte de Nuit, which is more famous for its red wines, its Pinot Noir based red wines, and Côte de Beaune, which makes red and white wine. And the difference between the two is essentially that uh, it's all based on the soils, the geology. The Côte de Nuit is one sort of contiguous limestone escarpment, whereas that vein of limestone actually goes underground around the town of Comblanchien, where uh, Côte de Nuit ends, Côte de Beaune starts and then resurfaces around uh, the Chassagne and Montrachet area. So the soils are a lot more heterogeneous, a lot more mixed in the Côte de Beaune area. So there's areas that make great white, areas that make great red, and that's sort of the major difference as to why you find different wine styles. So the secrets in the soil. Exactly. Yeah. Like much Good. Of Burgundy. Good. You mentioned, you mentioned Pinot Noir and Chardonnay. Mm -hmm. Those are the key grape varieties. Those are the key grape varieties. Which we see all over the world. Absolutely. And Bourgogne is really the benchmark that yeah. a lot of growers who are making them in New Zealand and elsewhere are really focusing on sort of making a Bourgogne reference. Although they're coming into their own now, I shouldn't say that, but that is a benchmark for quality. For yeah. Sure. And any any bit parts in, in Absolutely. Bourgogne? Absolutely. Aligoté. Right. So great white grape, really, really racy, uh, a lot of tension, really great, you know, if you like light, high acid, mineral driven wines, Aligoté is great. And they're starting to put a lot more focus, meaning higher quality Aligoté is now. Mm -hmm. um, Gamay, Gamay in the southern part of the Maconnais, you start getting reds made of Gamay. So those are the two major secondary grapes, I would say. Okay. And a bit less serious than... Yeah, so yeah. These serious. are often sort of aperitif wines, uh, yeah. you know, just fun, easy drinking wines. Cheaper, less oak. Yes, yes. Yeah, and equally delicious. I equally think, delicious. I think absolutely. we found some great. We did. <laughs> we we did. Yeah, we found oh, some God, delicious yeah. out of your day. And um, Pinot Noir, obviously incredibly difficult to, if you'd like, sort of get right or to do it in that Burgoyne mold elsewhere yes. in the world. Yes. Where would you go? Oh, it's a heartbreak grape because it's so hard to grow <laughs> well. Yeah. I, 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 and exactly, and, and where, where, so where would you go? So you, you're banned from going to Burgoyne. Okay, where well, you know you what? There's more and more great choices for Pinot yeah. Noir nowadays. Germany, for example, the yeah. R region, especially in Northern Germany. Obviously in this cellar, we're tasting New Zealand alongside Bourgogne, 
New Zealand, all over the North and yeah. the South Island, we're starting to find some fantastic uh, Pinot Noir, very different styles as well from, you know, what you get at Hawke's Bear, which you get in Central Otago, quite different. Yeah. Um, California is starting to make some nice Pinot Noirs. Niagara, if you want to taste some from here, even in the Okanagan Valley. So a lot of great areas. A lot, lot of choice. Yeah. yeah. Great. Super. Thank you so much. Pleasure. All right. Nice to see you and nice enjoy you the Cellar Sea 310.